and welcome to day four of my advent calendar of videos. Today's video is going to be a little bit more serious but I feel it's relevant to this time of year and to quite a few people who will probably be watching these videos and that is knowing what to do after uni. So I am in my final year of uni, I graduate in summer, either June or July and it's getting to that stage now where everyone is asking you what are you going to do after uni, especially around Christmas when you see all your family, the first thing they ask is what are you going to do after uni. A lot of people that I've spoken to, like my friends, they don't know and to be honest until very recently I didn't know either and that's an absolutely terrifying thing and they don't warn you how stressful that is. It's funny because my workload from second year to third year has actually gone down, I've got less assignments less exams, things like that, but the pressure to do well in them has like increased by 100% just because you know it's final year, you know this is this is the one that counts, this is the big one and then you've got the pressure of what are you going to do after uni, chatting away on one shoulder, you've got your parents pressuring you on the other shoulder and then you've got all of the pressure that you put on yourself as well which is absolutely ridiculous, I don't know why we do it but we do and I am a culprit as well. So for some advice for people who are in my position who don't know what they want to do with their life, which is a very scary thought, your university will have advice or something like that in place. All of them do, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> my university has a career service which I haven't actually been to speak to but I hear they're really good and I should probably go and have a chat with them. And they also have like an online job hunting thing where they send you an email with all these jobs that are relevant to your degree and your interests. But it gets to this time of year where you start to doubt everything, which is not fun when you've also got assignments and everything else to deal with. Because if you're like me, you've always had a plan and you go through your GCSEs and you have a plan and then it's a bit scary when you have to decide on your A-levels, but you're still living at home probably and you've still got your parents to cook meals for you and stuff. And then you leave sixth form and then you've got that pressure, are you going to go to university, what are you going to study, what are you going to get a job, are you going to get an apprenticeship, but still, you're at home, probably, <laughs> I'm just speaking from my experience, and your parents are still there to help you out with money and you don't have to worry about rent or bills or anything. And then, if you do go to university, you get to this time where you've moved out, you're kind of getting used to paying bills, you've been relying on student finance for three years or four years, and now it's like, make your life decision. Do you want to stay in university and do a masters? I did look into that. Do you want to go and get a job? Like a, a big job that you'll do for a couple of years? Do you want to get a little, um, like a rubbishy job that you do for a year and then go travel? Do you want to go traveling? Do you need to save money to go traveling? There's lots and lots of questions and it's very scary. So I'm basically making this video to let you know where I am at the moment in the sort of thing that's going on around me called adulthood. Um, I'm at that stage where I'm like, what? I'm doubting everything. I don't know what job I want to do. I don't know whether I'm good enough to do this job. I don't know whether what my aspirations are. I don't know whether I'm realistic. It's just crazy and too much pressure to handle so I'm kind of offloading onto you guys, the camera. Um, it's also a word of warning for those who are maybe just starting uni or going into their second year. You've got this to come, be prepared for it. None of the lecturers or anything tell you about this stress that happens but everyone goes through it. Start thinking about what you want to do when you leave, your plans will probably change but as long as you sort of go into doing something that you find fun, that you enjoy, that's what matters. You don't want to base it on the money, but you also don't want to base it on like pressures from your parents or anything. You just want to do something that's fun. And yes, you might have to start at the bottom and do the rubbish jobs that don't get paid anything, but you'll work your way up to find the role that you like. And my word of advice is to chat to the services in your university and try out different things. You can do work experience in different areas and see if you like them. It's completely okay to try out different areas and see which ones you like. You don't have to have it all sorted now. Would be nice to, 
but it's okay to not know what you're doing. Message to myself, it's okay to not know what you're doing. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's not been too rambly for you. I would like to talk more about this in future videos, so let me know if you have any specific questions or issues you want me to talk about. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. I don't think so, no. Leonardo DiCaprio or Matt Damon <gasps> or no. all of those. I think it's going to be someone like... To be know. fair, have I heard of many of them? Exactly. That's you've what named the two that I've heard of. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, two three. three.